welcome back everybody so this is gonna be a quick update video for you guys on stock market and before we get started please smash that like button and 100 plus likes on this video would be greatly appreciated guys and if you're new here consider subscribing now if you want to get my daily trade ideas swing trade ideas live trading and you want to support the channel definitely check out their link down below in the description for patreon all right so what's happening in the market definitely a rotation and a big pullback here on nasdaq 100 we got dow jones going up 0.67 percent it was up actually more than one percent nasdaq 100 going down over one percent s p kind of a flat day but still down 0.31 percent and russell also going up 0.42 percent and here's 11 sectors that makes up S&P 500 on top, leading the way. It's a risk off move here in the market today, leading the way on top. Energy, utilities, consumer defensive, financial, real estate, healthcare, industrials. And look at right here, guys. Communication services, consumer cyclical, and then technology taking a massive bidding down almost 2% on the day. And what do we got here on stock market map? We got names like XOM and Chevron going up big time today, lighting up energy sector. And then we got... Consumer cyclical names like Amazon and Tesla down on the day. Amazon down almost 2%. Meta going up 0.72%. Google flat. And then we got Netflix finally taking a breather down 2.46%. Apple also going up today 0.32%. It was actually up almost 2% or more than that. Gave away all the gains and now pretty much flat on the day. Now the biggest thing I want to talk about it here guys is Nvidia down almost 7% for the first day of the week now a lot of people they were buying 140 calls and i said it before that yes things can push higher i'm not gonna chase this name and i would not recommend chasing nvidia after the split and you can see this thing breaking down now i mean if you consider where this thing was now it's down over 22 dollars from the top right so that's like over 200 it's down right now at this point and that is a big pullback and the market cap definitely went under three trillion dollars and look at apple and microsoft still surviving and the market cap is above way above three trillion dollars now microsoft also going down today i think after hitting a brand new all-time high down half a percent and look at right here financial big names like jpm bank of america wells fargo all firing up and going up even regional banks are up and green on the day and that is why we saw you know a bit of a rally here on small caps on iwm now here's some names from healthcare you can see eli Lilly up unh up mrk up all these names and pfizer definitely a stock to buy that thing is also up over two percent and now we can talk about s p 500 and see where things are going going into tomorrow's session on triple q is down 1.14 percent and closing at the low of the day we definitely saw a bit of a bounce on shorter time frame but the support did not hold 478 and look at the breakdown now all the way down to 13 sma on this daily time frame this orange line 473.74 to be exact but i would say 474 now going into tomorrow's session guys weekly expected move to the downside that is 472 so that should act as some sort of a support if we get there tomorrow at 472 but if that gives up things are looking a bit oversold on shorter time frame i'm not talking about daily or weekly we could see some sort of a, a relief bounce back up to the upside before we come down and close this gap at 468 also keep that in mind closing at 473 and some change it's not too far away from this gap we can definitely give up another four or five bucks to come down here to close this gap from CPI at 468. So you align the same for tomorrow, right here, 473.74, and below that, 472, and then this gap, 468, which is in line with this rising 20 SMA, which is sitting at 467, and then the next stop, 460. Now to the upside, we get some sort of a relief bounce from this support right here. 473.74 watch out for a move right up here that's gonna be around 478 only if that breaks you're going to see continuation to the upside possibly up to 481 until then this is actually turning into a daily downtrend and also an hourly downtrend and if this trend continues to the downside you're going to see immediately early as tomorrow this gap getting filled at 468 
on Dow Jones it's up 0.67% so definitely a rotation going on here on Dow Jones and money coming in out of tech sector and a lot of money actually going into Dow Jones. Now we saw Dow going up over 1% today and then at the end it gave away some of the gains and why because it was trading far outside the Bollinger Band which is sitting at 393.67 it was trading at 395 plus. So now there will be support around uh, 392 to 393 and below that 391 rising 5 day moving average and then we have strong support at uh, 388 right here. Now as long as 393 to 392 can hold anything above oh, it's a 391 right here this rising 5 day moving average that is still bullish and we could see more rotation here on Dow Jones and this thing can push even higher back up to 400 again. On SPY ETF it's only down 0.33% and barely actually breaking below 543 into closing pretty much closing near 543. So that's going to be your line to send if we can actually break and hold 543 again watch out for a push back up to 546 and possibly even 550. But you can see a rejection from this 5 day moving average today got up to 547 almost and then came back and pretty much closing at the low of the day and under 543. So if it actually stays under 543 the next support 540 and below that this gap definitely will come into play 537 and this is where I'm watching and bulls needs to hold right here guys 537 because if we go under 537 this sell off can turn into something big where we could see more dump off all the way down to 524 right here on spy ETF to the upside there will be resistance at 546 and if that's clear watch out for 550 again. On IWM it's up 0.43 percent so this thing got up to almost 203 and if you look at my screen negative sloping 20 day moving average right here this white line setting at 202.43 and you can see a rejection from there and now came back almost filling this gap at 200 today. So here on IWM it needs to hold 200 if not the next support will be down here at 198 and then 193. Now at some point IWM can actually break and hold 20 day moving average 202.43 the next stop definitely all the way up here at 206 and then 208. On VIX it's up almost 1% so nothing big on VIX and this thing got up to almost 14 this morning and then gave away all the gains and now again holding at 13 and you can see the Bollinger Band actually on top expanding now at 14.21 so as long as 13 bucks can hold and you can see the rising five day moving average also getting closer to 13 so that's gonna be a strong support on VIX as long as 13 can hold we could see a move up to 14.21 and possibly up to 15 and over 15 that would be a big breakout on VIX for more upside up to 18 to 20 guys until then this is just a dead cat bounce until this thing breaks and holds 15 bucks that's gonna be the real breakout just like we saw last time and then we saw a decent pullback here in the market so kind of an interesting day dollar actually went down 0.30 percent and came near 105 almost and pretty much holding above 105 and uh, not even holding 105.60 rising five day moving average so dollar here guys we will see tomorrow if there is gonna be a big move here on dollar as long as 105 support can hold and this thing can actually get back up above five day moving average 105.60 you're going to see a big move up to 106 and then 106.52 just because this thing's taking a breather and not going up today you can see i mean it was right here this thing had a massive move but just like here and then came back and then went back up so maybe just taking a breather and we'll find out tomorrow if this thing can push even higher as long as the support can hold 105 the key level here on dollar this thing can definitely Go up to 106 and possibly even higher from there 106.52 and that's all i have for you guys in this video thank you so much for watching